morning glam fam welcome back to my channel so first off i want to start off by saying thank you thank you thank you so much you guys for 200 subscribers i know it's not a lot and i know everyone's like 200 that's nothing to me it's a lot because it took me a while to get there but uh slowly but surely um so i wanted to start off this video by um saying well not saying but letting you guys know five things you should do well, that i personally think you should do every morning um so let me get right to it because i do have to get to work and i woke up early this morning you know so i have some extra time so i'm just gonna get this out the way so with number one thing i have my little journal here so with the first thing that i have down is do your bed so when you wake up in the morning the most important thing to do is your bed the reason why i'm saying that if is because if you look at like motivational speakers if you look at successful people if you if you ask them what their morning routine is what they do every morning they always say doing their bed and the reason why they do their bed is because it's a first task that they accomplish for the day so that's one thing you get out of the way and then it always feels good to come home to a made bed or like even a clean house if you have time to clean your clean your house in the morning before you go to work perfect do that because trust me like it feels so good when you had a long day and you come home and everything's clean and it smells good you're just like ah, it feels so good all right so then going to number two number two is i have um let's see they're not like exactly in order but you know what i mean you know what i mean so for number two i have a to-do list so what I do every morning before I go to work, I usually do it while I'm eating breakfast on my way out. I do a to-do list, like things I need to buy or things I need to do, like pay bill, anything like that. So I just write that down and I do write it down in this little notebook too. I have um, a cute little planner that I write down on my bills, everything I need to do because it keeps me organized and it reminds me exactly what needs to be done on what day. So that's something that really, really, really helps. Um, another thing every morning, that I do is I either hit the gym or I do like a like stretch like a small workout in my room um usually I go to the gym in the morning with my boyfriend and then we come home and then we get ready and all that but a lot of people's schedule don't like it doesn't work like that so um sometimes I have to go to work in the morning and I don't get out till like five o'clock in the afternoon or whatever and then I go to the gym after but if you have the time in the morning to go to the gym or to do a small workout at your house do it because not only you're pumping you know getting pumped and you're pumping blood through your body you know getting your body like excited for the day um but yeah it puts you in a good mood it releases stress um and then at the same time like you start off your day right too and you're like okay well I already exercised you know I don't want to mess it up and it get you get it out of your way like that's it's done like you don't have to worry about going to the gym anymore and then in your head you're like I already work I already worked out I don't want to mess up and you know eat junk food or anything like that you know I think it, it really 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 helps you out um the fourth thing I have is eating healthy eating healthy for me is not stacking on pancakes and syrup and bacon and all that stuff in the morning I mean if you have a fast metabolism and your body can take it, you go, girl, you go. You guys go because I can't. My metabolism sucks. So I have to make healthy options in the morning because I already know myself. If I don't eat healthy in the morning, like by lunch, I'm like, well, I already messed up. Like, I'll, I'll just start tomorrow. And I keep pushing it off and off and off. And that's why, you see this? That's why I'm like that. Mm -mm. So yeah, eating healthy is really important in the morning. Um, also to it, it actually saves you money if you eat at home and you eat healthy. One, because when you eat something at home, you don't have to rush to like Starbucks or McDonald's or something and you already ate something and you don't have to spend money on. And then lunchtime in your head, you already have it like, I already ate healthy, let me, let me keep this trend going, you know? So that's another thing that I do every morning. I think that's important. Um, if you're fasting, then you know, you're fasting. Hey, but eating breakfast is really important. It keeps your, I mean, it gets your metabolism going and then you feel good. You know, you don't have to go to work with like an empty stomach or stomach's growling or if you have to go to class, it's so embarrassing when you're in class and then your stomach's like, and everyone's just looking around and you're just like, oh my God. But yeah, 
So eating breakfast, you guys, very, very important. Um, the last thing is number five. So it's hygiene. Get, getting ready, I guess you can say. Because it is so important. Getting ready, taking care of yourself is crucial. Because nobody likes to be around someone who smells. I have, oh my God. I have some people where it's like, I love them to death, but it's just like, yo, breast stinks. Like, and you have to tell them like in a nice way without them getting hurt or, you know, their armpit smell or something. And nobody likes to be around people like that. So it's really, really important to take care of yourself. You get more opportunities. Not only that, but if you get ready in the morning and take a shower, you know, you throw on a cute, you know, shirt. I don't know, like get ready. Like you don't have to put on like, look, I barely have any makeup on. Um, you don't have to go all out with your eyeshadow and everything. And I'm talking about for guys and girls. This is not just for girls. If you get ready, because most of the time, if you look good, you feel good and vice versa. If you feel good, you look good. But I think you have a lot of more opportunity when you're approachable and people want to be around you and you smell good and you know you don't look like you just woke up and don't care about your life I so I really really think that's important so again the five things were do your bed do your to-do list hit the gym stretch whatever you want to call it a little small workout um eat healthy so start off your day right and then take care of yourself get ready that's the five, I think, basic things everyone should do in the morning. And then just the bonus, what I do every morning, just start off my day right. Um, actually, me and my roommate, Allison, do it. We put on, like, motivational videos um, or, like, I put, like, audible books or something. So I'm either learning something or, you know, I'm listening to something that's motivating, inspiring me or relaxing me. Um, she meditates. I meditate at nighttime before I go to bed because it helps me sleep. But trust me, it makes a world of a difference. So I'm sure if you guys start doing it, if you're not doing this stuff already, if you start doing it, it's going to change your world. Like, it helps me out so much. And what the sad thing about this is that I just started doing it. I'm not even lying. Probably like a month or two ago. And I've been more productive and I've done more stuff than I have the entire year. So yeah, you guys, those are the five things I think you should do every morning. But your girl, what time is it? Oh yeah, your girl needs to get ready for work, throw on my, my work shirt and head to work because I got bills to pay, you know, they ain't gonna pay themselves. But thank you so much for joining me, you guys. And again, thank you, thank you, thank you so much for 200 subscribers and for all of those who have been loyal to my channel and have watched all my videos. Um, I know the quality on my videos aren't the best because I'm shooting off my phone and editing through an app that I don't know, for some reason it uploads them less than what Ultra HD, it's like under 10 HP, like 720. But I'm working really hard to save up money and actually get a good camera and a laptop because I really don't like using my iPad for editing. Um, and obviously I'm using my phone. So be patient with me guys, grow with me. I'm so excited to see what's gonna happen in the future. I mean, the hardest thing was getting at 100 and now I'm at 200 and I'm just like, oh, and I'm excited. I'm excited. But yeah, thank you again, you guys, so much for watching. And give this video a thumbs up. And make sure you guys subscribe. And I'll see you guys on my next video.